Hey guys, Lotus Tech here back again with another video. So in this video, I'll be showing you how to boot your old ROMs, like your Game Boy Advance ROMs, your Game Boy Color ROMs, N64, 3DS, basically all your ROMs in this video. So I got a question on a lot of my comments saying, how do we boot ROMs off the RetroArch system? So I made a video a while ago showing how to get RetroArch on your Nintendo Switch. And I'll be showing you again real quick how to get RetroArch and how to boot your ROMs off it. So one way you can do it is you can download the switch pack file we have in our link of the description if you join the discord you can go and get our free super pack and that basically has a 3ds core which usually you got to pay for but we have it for free but i'll be showing you how to get uh retro arc first and showing you how to boot your old roms off it so what we have over here is our atmosphere oh i mean our homebrew menu over here and what you want to do is you want to go into the homebrew app store right here now that we're on the homebrew app store, we're gonna wait for it to load. And over here we see RetroArch. So you either gotta search it or you got it right here. And right, what I'm gonna do over here is I'm gonna press update. So I'm gonna wait for this to update real quick, but for you, it will say install. So you're gonna wait for it to install. So we're just gonna wait. And it takes a second or two. So while this is installing, what you could do is go get your ROMs. So you could find a way to go get your ROMs. Um, there are many websites that show you how to get your ROMs, but I can't show you how to get those ROMs. But um, you could find those ROMs pretty easily, but we're gonna wait for this to finish installing. And once it's done, I'll continue from there. So now that RetroArch is done updating, what we're gonna do is we're gonna launch a game because if you don't launch a game properly or if you don't launch it without launching a game, then it's not gonna work that well. You're gonna get an error message right when you start with Atmosphere and you're gonna be wondering why it happened. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, we're gonna press start software and we're gonna hold the R trigger right here. So we're just gonna hold it down like this and then you should be brought into the homebrew menu if you did it fast enough. Now I didn't do it fast enough, so I have to do this one more time. I'm gonna hold it again, press it, and there we go. I'm into the homebrew menu. So what we gotta do now is we're gonna go and open up RetroArch, and RetroArch should open up smoothly. So we're just gonna wait for the load, and here we go. So now, almost all the cores will be added. So I got bad joystick drift right now, but here we have already the code, the cores already in here. So you're gonna see it comes with a lot of cores just from the start. But if you want special cores like 3DS, you got to get the Super Pack because usually you got to pay for that core. But um, the Super Pack is free, by the way. But you can see we have all these cores here. So if you see your system here that you want to get ROMs for, you can basically download the ROMs for any of these systems that are already here. So how do you boot the ROMs now that you got? So we're going to go on the computer and I'm going to show you what to do from there. So here I am on my Nintendo Switch. So this is the SD card for my Nintendo Switch over here. You can find a way to go get your games. But the best way to do it is basically taking out your SD card and having it out so it transfers smoothly. So over here is basically everything I have on my Nintendo Switch right here. And what you can do is you can make a folder called ROMs or you can just have them sectioned out. Now for me, I'll make an area called MGBA, not MGBA, uh, GBA ROMs. So let's go find it real quick. And here it is, GBA games. So over here is all my Game Boy Advance games, and you can make a folder of anything you want. So you can make a folder called ROMs and have all your ROMs in there, but all you need to do is just have a folder on the root of your SD card with the ROMs you want, or you could have it organized like Game Boy games, then Game Boy Advance games, then 3DS games like I have right here. I have them sectioned out. So as you can see over here is 3DS games right here, and then over here I have Game Boy Advance games right here. So you just want to have them in their folders or in just one folder, but it just needs to be in a root of the SD card. And once that's done, you want to eject it and you want to put it back into your Nintendo Switch, and I'll show you what to do from there back on RetroArch. So here we are back on RetroArch. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go on to load content. So over here, we're gonna go on to file browser. Now file browser, you wanna go into this where it has a three circles and you wanna go on slash. Now over here, you can see you have your whole root of your SD card right here. So over here, I can go on to GBA games right here. And then I can just choose anything I want. So I just wanna play Need for Speed real quick, right? So I'm gonna press this. We're gonna wait for it to load. And there we go, it boots right up like that. So as you can see, it works perfectly fine. So I'm gonna go there and it works full speed like it should 
Now, if we want to go on to 3DS games, I'm going to do the same way again on rebooting it. So let's go back onto RetroArch. I should have my 3DS games over here. So if I go over here onto load content, over here I go and start directory and I have 3DS games, I can just launch them all here and same with my other games that I got on here. But yeah, that's basically it. So if you want to play other games like your old ROMs, you can boot them off your Nintendo Switch by using RetroArch. So yeah, if this video helped you, then please like and subscribe. And yeah, goodbye.